I'll kick it over to Sydney, who is on our player executive committee again. You know, we are a player-driven league. So again, we have a PEC in place for all of our sports. And Sid leads the charge, she is our chairman. And we also have three other PEC members, which two of them will be here tomorrow. So again, thank you guys again, and I'll kick it over to Sid. What's up, y'all? I'm Sydney. Like she said, I'm part of the PEC. There are four of us, so I've had a chance to talk to some of y'all. Just really excited for this league to be in existence, like I know the rest of y'all are. Like an opportunity for us to play somewhere besides the WNBA. Yeah, I'm glad y'all are taking advantage. I'll be playing in the league with y'all, whoever is chosen from this, so I just want to see, like, see each other compete, but still like have fun, encourage people still, like make it a fun environment. Like we know that this is for the betterment of our game in general. So um, excited to have y'all here and let's, let's have some fun. My name is Rebecca Juan Taylor. I actually played basketball and soccer um, at the University of Richmond. I was on scholarship for soccer and a walk-on for basketball. This weekend is the dream for me, you know, because I, I'm i eight years out of playing. I've only been playing in men's leagues or at the Y, and, you know, um, I had some medical things that I have been cleared from since then, but um, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity, and if nothing comes of it, that's okay. I mean, this weekend was, was incredible for me and my family. While I always loved basketball, my skill set for soccer, I think, was something that was very valuable. Um, you know, I scored a lot of goals, and I would say probably 75% of them were with my head, which is like a skill set that sticks out. World Cup was in 2012. The head coach of that under-20 women's national team called my coach, and he was like, hey, we have a camp. They called me over. And long story short, first touch, I had the ball in the goal, and I scored. I see Steve's reaction when I scored, and I was like, I think I just made the team because like this is the point of me, right? And um, within 10 days of that camp, we were on a plane to Japan. Being able to train with the best players in the world, like Julie Ertz, Morgan Bryan, Crystal Dunn. Like I came back and I was like, I was at my top form and I came up with the gold medal, which is also pretty cool. Soccer was the one that I always thought I, I kind of could go further in and that was the plan. I was sitting in the room with the doctor and he was like, what would you say if I told you you could never play soccer again? It was really difficult to have that taken away. I mean, like anybody knows when they go through anything, like it sucks when you're going through it. Um, the NWSL was like just starting up and you know, you look back on that draft class and I think literally all but like two people were on the under 20 national team. Um, you know, it's just, I look back on it more and I'm, I'm grateful for the hard things because I see the like good things that came from them. Today's actually my six year anniversary with my husband who's waiting out there. Um, for my husband and I, starting a family was really important. So it took us three, three and a half years to actually start our family. So it's been a journey to get to our daughter who's one. She is just such a blessing. She's here too. And um, you know, I realized for her that I still had an itch to play basketball. And so my, my plan was to go to a combine in April. Then this opportunity came up and it just came out of the blue. And, um, you know, for me and my family, um, it's really just been such a blessing. And I realized I just want her to know that, you know, at any age, you can go for it. And if it doesn't work, that's fine. Like, I know I did it. I put all my all into it. And I mean, this has just been like a little golden nugget that has like popped up and hopefully it works out. But if it doesn't, that's OK. Um. Oh no, I'm sure y'all have some questions, but I just, I have one question I just wanted to know, like, how would y'all feel if we told you that we wanted to offer you a contract to play? Because we about to offer y'all a contract to play. Man, oh man. I want to hear, baby, let's yes. go. <laughs> let's go. My girl, Rebecca, is emotional, baby. <laughs> yes, yes, I mean, you, you have no idea. <laughs> 